Hi, thank you for tuning in. In this recording, I want to just wish a happy full moon to everybody. Uh, if you're going out there and doing your your prayer work, your any type of work that you feel called to do during this time, to really get out there and you know it's a time to renew. Uh, this is a very strong moon. For a lot of people, it has been moving out a lot of dense energy, lots of density. And, you know, like all the other uh, times every month, it's moving us towards more love, more uh, genuineness within ourselves. And that's something that we want to keep on cultivating within ourselves, no matter what. So I just wanted to share this really quick. Um, a nice fire. So hold on. This fire right here, just imagine all of your stress going into the fire, releasing. It's a nice fire to use to release all that doesn't serve. And this is a nice blue flame here. Uh, it was a fire that I had lit last night. So anything that needs to go, anything that's not of love, anything that is holding you down or making you feel less than or think less than yourself um, just really allow that fire the blue flame to cleanse and purify you right now it's this is a great time to release um, full moons are amazing for that because it illuminates things that we cannot see so whatever is coming up for you right now allow yourself to uh, purge that out release that out stay steady within yourself and confident within yourself too um, there's a lot of confusion I feel happening within a lot of people stepping out into their paths or what's next and lots of thinking like this and and um, the energy so bring it in call yourself back anything that's not of love we want to release that uh, because we are stepping into what is truly you, the most genuine, the most authentic, your highest version of yourself. And really quick, I want to share this. I've been having a dream of this golden eagle for, I, don't, I think I've had it like three nights in a row. But this proverb says, those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. And they will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. So, you know, knowing that our strength comes from the divine, from God, from source. And, you know, that's exactly what I saw. I saw myself above this eagle flying. And a lot of us will be having this experience from viewing things from a higher perspective because we can see things. We could see the past, the present, and the future simultaneously and being able to navigate that and trust in that, um, you know, not to worry, to stand in faith and to not give up hope on whatever it is that your soul is calling forward to you on. And we also are being reminded of correct timing. Um, you know, a lot of times we want to hurry things along and, you know, but we're, you know, don't do that. Let, let God control the timing. Let the divine control the timing and when something is supposed to happen for you. Maybe it's something that you're asking for or something that you have in your heart and you want it to hurry up and happen. But, you know, it's just not time. And when it's time, it will happen in the fine, divine timing. So he knows when conditions are idea, deal. Your job is to get ready. The Lord's job is to open the right doors at the right time. So just trust that the right opportunity at the right time is going to open up for you. So whatever it is that you're hoping for at this time, if you feel yourself getting anxious, being anxious for nothing, you know, and remind yourself of that. Uh, come back into center and connect to the divine. So all that anxiousness, we want to, you know, again, throw that into the fire and really be able to just release that, you know, keep on releasing all that anxiousness. Just go ahead and allow yourself to release that. The blue fire is really great to use, a really great tool to use. Okay, so we want to take some time to really go over this little decree that I found on Instagram today. This is from 144 Dimensional Light Codes. 
if you're on Instagram, you can find me at Angel of Divine. So this states that it's a really nice decree. I release my parents from the feeling that they have already failed me. I release my children from the need to bring pride to me, that they may write their own ways according to their hearts that whisper all the time in their ears. I release my partner from the obligation to complete myself. I do not lack anything. I learn with all beings all the time. I thank my grandparents and forefathers who have gathered so I can breathe life today. I release them from past failures and unfulfilled desires, aware that they have done their best to resolve their situations within the consciousness they had at that moment. I honor you, I love you, and I recognize you as innocent. I am transparent before your eyes, so they know that I do not hide or owe anything other than being true to myself and to my very existence. That walking with the wisdom of the heart, I am aware that I fulfill my life project, free from invisible and visible family loyalties that might disrupt my peace and happiness, which are my only responsibilities. I renounce the role of savior, of being one who unites or fulfills the expectations of others. Learning through and only through love, I bless my essence, my way of expressing, even though somebody may not understand me. I understand myself because I alone have lived and experienced my history, because I know myself, I know who I am, what I feel, what I do, why I do it. I respect and approve myself. I honor the divinity in me and in you. So I felt that that was a really beautiful invocation and prayer. And that could be found on Instagram. So we're just going to keep on releasing that. So wishing you a happy full moon and many, many blessings. Those of you who would like my full moon transmission that I created, um, the information is below. And I'm wishing everybody a blessed full moon. Anybody that's having a hard time with these energies, hang in there. Hold on to your faith and your connection to God. That is what is going to get you through. Uh, you have everything that you need within yourself. Strengthen that. Find what works for you. Find your connection and how the divine speaks to you personally. Um, how each one of us finds it is different and unique. So find it. It is something that is worth uncovering and is something that will give you strength. And nothing formed against you will prosper. No negativity formed against you will prosper because you are strong in your faith and in your knowing and what is true for you. And that's love, genuineness, respect, honor, truth, faith, all the virtues. And we are strengthening in each and every one of those every day. Thank you. Many please and blessings. Those of you who are looking to work with me, my information is below. Um, I do have some openings for some coaching that's opening up pretty soon. So thank you and I'll talk to you soon.